Hi there everyone. Welcome to the video lecture series of double integration. I am Mayur Gohil. This topic of double integration is from advanced mathematics. Okay. In order to solve the problems related to double integration and to know more about it, let us proceed further. Now, we will need certain prerequisites which are generally uh, what we need to know is integration formulas that whatever we have studied up to our high school level or plus two level. Okay. Some methods of integration like methods of substitution and others that we have studied that would be also very uh, uh, important. If you know them, then it would help you to solve these kind of uh, the double integration problems also in a easy manner. Okay. Another thing that you will need is some understanding of curves and their equations that such as straight lines like the formulas of double intercept formula, slope point formula and uh, the double point formula and like that. Okay. For circles, I would say if you know the equation of circle, how to find the center of the circle and uh, the radius, that would be enough uh, according to me. Otherwise, we will be also seeing whenever it is used, we will be seeing regarding conics, the parabola, hyperbola, and ellipse, their equations and their figures. If you can remember, then it would be very helpful for you to, you know, solve the questions related to double integration when it is needed over here. Okay. Now, let me give you an outline of the topic that we are going to see. Uh, the topics that we will be covering in this are these, okay. Uh, these basically are for uh, like how the flow of the lecture series will go about. Okay, it's uh, on double integration, we'll have certain short introduction. That's what we are having right now. And uh, then we will be moving further as the topic proceeds. Okay. Yeah, and at the end, of this is area using double integration uh, i shall also even try to incorporate some other applications like center of gravity and other if time permits okay let us see further okay now uh, these are some important formulas from your high school level uh, that i have given you over here so that it becomes little easy for you you can pause the video for a moment and jot down all of these formulas Okay, so that while solving, whenever you encounter, you can refer them at your own ease. Okay. Now, uh, the topic of double integration. Uh, we are going to be given some double integral of function f of x comma y over some region R. Okay. Now, this region R is the region of integration. Now, how do you proceed for this? Okay, like we had the first integral where that what we have studied the definite integral. Uh, it is a integral a to b f of x dx. Okay, and the limits are from x equals to a to x equal to b. Now, the same way we will be having the double integral f of x comma y dr over the region of integration r. Okay, so now how do you write the limits and all so first consider this diagram in which we have this uh, simple rectangle we are taking right now as the region of integration okay now if you see the shadow of this region on x axis is the interval a comma b and its shadow on the y axis is the interval c comma d all right so, if I want to write the integral, it is written in this manner. Okay. Now, observe here carefully that because here we have two variables x and y, that's why we have two differentials dx and dy. Now, because the first differential that we have written is dx, that's why in the inner integral, we will be writing the limits of x. Okay, right? And in the outer integral, we will be writing the limits of y. Okay. Now, you might pose me the question that what if we, instead of writing dx dy, can we write dy dx? Yes, you can write dy dx. In that way, if you write dy dx, then the limits of y will be written in the innermost integral. Okay. That's why I have written here y equals to c up to y equal to d and 
the outer integral will be having the limits of x which is x equals to a up to x equal to b observe here this two integrals carefully the first one here we have written the differential dx dy and in the second one we have written dy dx okay now see because when we were doing the single integration or the single definite integration there was only one variable x that's why there was no question of how it can be written or anything like that but here you have two variables x and y all right because of that you can write dx dy as the differential or you can write dy dx as in the case it be you have to take care of the limits accordingly okay so if you write dx dy then the innermost integral will have x limits and the outer integral will have y limits all right and in dy dx the innermost integral should have the y limits and the outer integral will have x limits okay this was the one most important thing because this is the whole uh, uh, important concept of double integration uh, in the writing style part okay let us see the next thing what i wanted to tell you is this okay now here you have this region r that we have taken as a rectangle mathematically this rectangle is represented by this cross product okay you can see that there is this interval a comma b which we have taken cross product with interval c comma d all right so this is the rectangle so any time uh, like uh, generally everything is denoted in the notational language in mathematics so th the notational uh, way of writing a rectangle in a two dimensional plane is this okay so that's what i wanted to mention so this is what whenever you see such a cross product of intervals so it is generally a rectangle all right now let us go further uh, let's take an example evaluate the integral of the fun uh, double integral of the function root y plus x minus 3x y square dx dy where r is uh, the given by this cross product 0 1 cross with 1 3 okay so now that means it's a rectangle you need not draw it okay you just have to understand how to write it so while writing this integral you have to take care of the limits observe the differential we are given the differential it is dx dy so first we write the uh, limits of x now what are the limits of x the limits of x are the first interval that is 0 1 are the limits okay so you write 0 1 over here all right and the second interval the lip they are the limits of y all right so you write the limits of y that are 1 to 3 so 1 to 3 you have written here okay now we will solve this before solving uh running to just solve you just have to understand now you are going to learn it's the first time you are seeing how to solve the double integration first of all you put a bracket in this way okay so you separate the inner integral with the outer integral or from the outer integral and the differential from the dy okay so what you see over here you put this bracket okay now you solve the internal bracket first this big bracket you solve how do you solve because the differential is uh, dx you integrate with respect to x and treat y as constant okay you integrate with respect to x and treat y as constant what you will get is this because root y is treated constant you have x the integration of x is going to be x square over 2 and integration of 3x y square is 3x square upon 2 times y square and you plug up the limits writing x equals to 0 x equals to 1 all right now see here why i have written x equals to 0 x equals to 1 otherwise children get confused if you just write 1 and 0 then because you don't know whom to plug up and you plug up anywhere and then you get wrong answer so please be careful while substituting and writing all right now you plug up the limits once you plug up the limits you will get this function okay all right now 
uh, yeah. Now what you observe is that your double integration question has been reduced to a single variable integration and that everybody we are aware we have done this kind of integrations at our high school level so you just start integrating it okay now root y can be written as y raised to half and then the function as it is and you integrate it on integration you will get your uh, expression in this manner so i is equals to when you solve this in uh, this expression you will get i equals to 6 root 3 minus 38 upon um, 3 all right so this is the way to solve okay just uh, go through it we'll go for the next example let us see now here you have to evaluate i equals to double integration over region r the function is sin x plus y dx dy where r is the rectangle given by 0 comma pi by 2 cross 0 comma pi by 2 all right now the limits of x and y both are 0 comma pi by 2 let us see how to go about it okay here you have this so as said you have to just put a bracket to the inner integer inner integral with the innermost differential so you put the bracket now since it is sin x plus y i am going to expand it as sin a plus b so i have expanded it as sin a cos b plus cos a sin b all right and now you integrate so on integration how are you going to integrate integrate with respect to x treating y as constant all right when you integrate these functions all right you will get sin x is going to turn to minus of cos x and the limits are going to be 0 to pi by 2 only for sin x all right not cos y and for cos x over here it will be sin x and it the limits are going to be 0 to pi by 2 plug up the limits all right so i have plugged up the limits over here uh, for cos okay now for sine what i have done i have directly written one because sine of pi by 2 is going to be one and minus of sine 0 that sine 0 is 0 so i have not bothered about one minus 0 and all that okay so yeah now you go further cos of pi by 2 is 0 and cos 0 is 1 that's why here you have one cos y all right so you get that and here one sine y now this again if you see your function has been reduced to single variable okay and now you are going to have your single integration so you perform your single integration as regularly okay now on integration you get sine y minus cos y 0 to pi by 2 all right and after this what do you get is sin pi by 2 minus cos pi by 2 minus of sin 0 minus cos 0 now you substitute the values of uh, the sines and cosines you will get answer of i equal to 2 all right so we have seen two examples of double integration where the region was uh, the rectangle okay so uh, now uh, these are the two examples for time being we will see the other examples in other video lectures. Thank you for joining in. Uh, keep solving good amount of mathematics.